I, I need to be very careful because it only get like a whole video pinged after that, but you know. I, I've got a way around that, so it's it's all it's all good. Alright. I don't know how close this thing is to dying, but Zan. Let's try Zan. Earth. Gilres. No. Oh, that was kind of crap. Ow. Alright, this is turning into a battle of attrition now, but that's fine. Okay, uh, who got hit then? I think it was Rika. Five. Oh shit. Oh, we're touching the titty. That was a titty grab. Tentacle titty grab. Um. So. We don't have many options. Don't have many options at all. If she casts that, okay, no, it's just for herself. <clears throat> oh yeah, Mega Man. I've yet to badge that, but I have completed it. Like, once you play Mega Man, it's like, oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I, I can remember all the little bits and pieces, but going through for the first time, goddamn. Infuriated the fuck out of me. Earth seems to not do much. So we see that. Um, yeah. Main Man's an infuriating game, I think. Vol. What is Vol or Zan? Well, we're going to find out what Zan is. Titty grab. Okay, Zan. Okay. But we don't want Han to use all of his um, TP, because he's the healer. If he starts messing up the others, it starts getting bad. Yeah, I'm not the best either, um, Obi. Like, um, I haven't even completed Super Mario Brothers or Sonic. So, yeah. Oh, and perhaps people were wondering, like, Logibot? Who the hell is Logibot? I was fucking around with some, like, um making a bot, but I, it's not quite, you know, I'm not even sure if I should close the account of the bot. I think in, in order to make a bot, it does need a twi it's separate Twitch account though, so it's something that I just need to research a bit more, I think. Sonic's got a BS ending? Okay. I wouldn't know, never completed it. Um, what's a list got? Oh, that's right, we, we tried Zan before. Okay, we'll use Zan. And she's got nothing else. What is, what is Santa? Okay, we're gonna find out what Santa is. BS bosses? Okay. <laughs> Metal Sonic, the stupid robot Eggman. Yeah, I get it. Some of these games were infuriating growing up. Alright, we, we tried Zan, let's try Vol. I'm just curious. Santa agility up, okay. No idea what um, Vol did then. MK? More combat? More combat was fun, but it was hard as shit. You needed to be very skilled player. 
I have the feeling that Alyssa is going to get whooped, so I'll heal her up with Rika. Sacrifice her turn. And Han can go for the chop. Haha, <laughs> three. Wow. I knew it. Alright. Um. Zan. Santa was just a bit agility up. Uh, mm. Santa was agility up. Zan is like a an actual attack. I think Tsu is like a fire thing, so we'll try that. And Gires for Alice. Chop chop. Now, unfortunately, yes or not. So, um, I think, um, Fantasy Star 4 is unfortunately one of those sets where it's like you've got to be hunched over like a like the hunchback of Notre Dame. You've got to be hunched over your little walkthrough and you've got to be like, oh, I need to make sure that I'm at this level before I touch this boss. So in other words, um, there was an achievement here for beating that thing if I was like a, a few levels lower. But how would you know that? You don't. So for this first playthrough, I'm like, okay, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know? Um, I no longer want to play games for the first time and and have like a guide next to me. Like, let me just um, have the first experience and then I'll attack it properly. Yeah. But retro achievements will, will make you play that way and, you know, because it's more efficient, right? So. What's the level limit? Let me just um switch over to my retro achievements page. Okay, nine. I think okay, this is the one. Yeah, so beat it, combine level 35, party of five. So, okay, it looks like there's some that I'll be able to get, but the missables, yeah. They'll be on like a, a brand new playthrough. <clears throat> I can live with that, I can live with that, it's fine. It's fine. All 
around. A fat, a, a fat stack of cash. We were like something like um, 8,000 Mesita, and now we're 1,300, 13,000, I should say. <clears throat> beep, 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 beep. Okay, one thing to keep in mind is like that stray dog, but I don't know how we're gonna find that dog again. Oh, it was in it was in a village that we visited, wasn't it? There was like a dog. I'll uh Well first of all, if we go to our bed We can rest for free. I don't know where our bed is though. I um I got in contact um, with some people from my old YouTube lately, um, specifically the Wine Cone. I was trying to figure out who the um, original YouTube partners were, and I was trying to enlist his help. And he was polite enough to reply back, but he couldn't really help. Or rather, I hadn't done my research enough, I guess. So... But... This guy's still grinding. But I, I think with my list, I'm I'm extremely close. But the thing is, I'm missing information. Everyone's missing information, which is why this information hasn't been known for like over a decade. You know. Long story short, there are about like it was. It's supposed to be twenty people who were initially offered to be um, invited to become YouTube partners. It was, this was before YouTube was monetizing anything. This was back in 2007. Misinformation in societies? Never. I know, right? So the thing is, like, if it's a if it's a list of 20, I think I I have the 20. But if it's any more than the 20, like, because I think the New York Times had an article and they said 20 to 30. That throws out the numbers a little bit, and finding information is a little bit difficult, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's a project that I'll, I'll work on um, in in private in the background. Maybe contact a few more old school YouTubers like um, Renetto and uh, Zipster08. Stuff like that. I wonder if anyone remembers like the good old days with uh, Renato and Greg Solomon. Who else? Um, SXE Phil before he became. Um, what did he change his name to? SXE Phil. Phil De Phil DeFranco. Um, I don't know what his channel name is anymore. But I know that he's still, like, you know, still doing his spiel. Who else? People like Lisa Nova. Who are part of, um, the conglomerate of users that made, um, Maker Studio and Polaris. Like, what's this? Yeah, about that, Elise. Filthy Frank? He was alright. Um, I, I never really got into him. Like, I knew he was a, around, but, like, he, he wasn't the sort of content I gravitated to. A lot of, like, um... Like, 
um, slurs against uh, um, what, what's the word? Gay people. Yeah, a lot of slurs against gay people. Boogie two nine eight. Yeah, he was like, would I would I call him like early early YouTube? I think he would be like second wave earliest. Like um, Kev Jumba would be second wave. I would say. Um, what was the thing that pink guy used to always say? Fucking. Ore no chin chin ga daisuki na yo. Like, um, I love my penis or something like that. Francis. Oh, um, 2012 was like, um. I, I think it was like considered like the, the golden age before Adpocalypse. When PewDiePie did his fucking stupid shit with the Fiverr people. So then, I think there's like been two or three big adpocalypses. PewDiePie did the first one. Um, yeah, he did the first one with the Fiverr people. I think it was some... He paid Fiverr people to say something like, um, death to Jews or something like that. The second one was Logan Paul, um, going into Aoi Gahara, um, forest and filming a dead body and then putting that on YouTube like it's content. Content. Um, just, yeah. And then the third um, ad pod list was, was uh, PewDiePie again, but this time it was like he said the N word during a particular, particularly frustrating moment in a FPS. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he also electrocuted a dead rat or something. Yeah, like Logan Paul is just. The, the, the Paul brothers. Shake my head. Shake my head. Logan started um, video with this was most epic banger you will see. <coughs> Boy, so he started the video with that and then he electrocuted the rat. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Oh, the f oh no. Really? Epic banger, watching people hang themselves in the forest. Yeah. Yep. It's people like Logan that really did ruin the platform and it became far more restrictive. So now you can't even say pee pee poo poo without getting like your, your entire video library demonetized. Me too. Um, Ethan Klein used to be really cool, um, but then something happened. I don't know what happened, and uh, now, like, he's he's not a nice person. He's a very rich person now, um, by normie standards. Like, I think he's multi-millionaire, and he's still pumping out content. But I think he's... I, I, I don't like him at all. How do I get through the forest? Oh, for here? Um, comment etiquette with, um, Commander Stephanie Sterling. Chop chop. Oh no, I think there was a, a channel that did something specifically comment etiquette, yeah yeah. Hmm. Oh, we're here now. We're making progress here, boys. And girls. That's each way. We hear this particular dungeon music a lot. I'm, I'm aware of him, it's just like it's been years since I, I... I really got into YouTube content, like... Who do I mainly listen to nowadays? Um... Like, um... Doomcock? And, um... Midnight's Edge? I watch them a lot. Chris Smooth, with his NBA coverage. Um, 
and sometimes some of the other channels that I've subscribed to over the years. Uh, yeah. I, I don't really keep up a lot with, um, especially like the older YouTubers because they simply don't make content anymore. Oh! Treasy! Ah. Uh, Dimate. Zol Slug. Uh oh. Big Sloop. Meta Sloop. Strong menu tubes. That's fair. I mean, there's, there's all sorts of different content. Did I get paralyzed? Damn, son. Oh, double paralyzed. Eddie Hall, Brian Shaw. I think, doesn't the mountain have his own channel? You know, the, um, the, the guy that was um, in um, Game of Thrones? He may or may not. Yeah, a lot of a lot of polarizing opinions on him. Hapthor, right, right, right. A lot of polarizing opinions. Um, funnily enough, I also got into like um, rock climbing uh, channels because of that um, that guy that did the um, the the free solo of El Capitan. Like that's some of the, the craziest shit you've ever seen in your life. Like climbing up a. Um, a basically a cliff face with no rape uh, with no ropes and stuff like if you fall you die kind of thing I'm just like yeah 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 and not not even that like you can buy the documentary of that and it's like in full 3d you can watch that in VR and scare the living shit out of yourself <laughs> The, 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 the most stressful documentary you will ever watch. Para. I am para. I will look at it. The medicine that restores HP. I will use it on Alice. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. seawater is that because of all the um the weird bacterias and stuff in it now like you know flesh eating bacteria i used to be a pretty good swimmer i was in my high school swim team like growing up we used to have like access to pools i i'm more i've been less of a fan of like the pollution and like the the flesh eating bacteria in the water creatures i can handle i live in australia National champ. If you've stopped swimming for a while, you should get back into it. You should just go to like your a local pool. Don't bother with the beach. Like you you'll probably be so much happier. You'll be like, this is what's been missing. Para. How do I get rid of my para? Yeah, I know she's paralyzed. You must be a tech. I reckon Han can help. Rimpa, what's this? Oh, you swim daily? Good, 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 good. Like, if it, if I had, like, access to a, a, a pool close by, I'd probably, like, go to a pool more regularly. But I haven't swum, you know, a very long time, personally. I'm just going to assume Rimpa is what we need. Oh, that was pretty good. So Rimpa removes paralysis. What actually is Rimpa? Never lose the technique. Isn't it like uh, riding a bike though? Like, even like if I didn't swim for like 15 years, I get back in the pool and be like, yeah, I, I remember this shit. Because I did swim for like, like years, so. Um, tech skill, maybe status? 
Scholar. I mean, it tells us what he's got, but okay. I'll just have to assume that Rimpa is the removal of paralysis. Hmm. Oh wait, she... she still messed up? Oh no no, I, I healed her with an item. At least it's a good girl. Okay, now these things can combine into big slugs. So what do I do? Do I set them on fire? Do I throw salt at them? Fuck it. Just attack them. There we go. There we go. He didn't even have a chance to go into big slug mode. <laughs> Technique Rimmit. Rimmit. For who? Rimpa? Grandpa? Rimmit. Can't use the technique. Well, who, who had Rimmit then? You could try combination attacks. Ah! By the way, hello, Compose. It's a surefire way for eliminating large groups of enemies. Okay, okay. Next um, battle. Alright, let's try this out. So, it'll be command. And then combination is which one? Or do I need to do that within the macro? Because um, this one's um, tech and this one is something else. Mm. Meh. Damn it. Don't fuse into the big slug. I'm definitely tr um, wanting to take you up on your advice, but I'd. I like, do I have to do it within the macro, or do I have to do it, like, in this screen here? Like, if it can be done here, then that's fine. So, defense, item... That is, like, a special skill. Death! Oh, we're trying that one. Oh, no, let, let's keep it just for now. That's the tech. Yeah, I'm just using macro. Warcry. Okay, so, skill. Tech and skill, right, right. Macro? Uh, no. Hmm. Combination attack. Is this something I should look up? Probably is. Zan and what? Okay, I'll try that. Can I get some treasure on the way though? Nope. Okay. Zan. We don't have what yet. Unless... Oh no, he does. Was that an example of um, a combo attack? Because I'm guessing like the first bit was the um, the cold bit and then the, the what amplified it. 